Just thought I had to clarify that just in case. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, you know, even when I streamed like 25 hours, my voice was still the same. It doesn't get tired. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was even thinking, wouldn't it be funny if I hit, if I hit the box? Yep. Wasn't as funny as I th thought. <laughs> All right. Whoops. All right, delete the space engine news and back to the grind. So today we're continuing the challenge of getting a million credits in hardcore. Artificial hardcore still. Um, so I think we're at the new station now. I can't remember where we left off exactly. Okay, we're at 100,000 already. We might have to make this like a higher... Might need to make this like a, a, a higher number. Because I thought million would be a lot, but looking at ships that cost 72 million makes me think it's maybe not as hard as I thought it was originally. So we'll still make it the first goal we're going to go for to get a uh, hundred, to get a million. And then we'll go off from there, see how rich we can get. Um, but first, we need to go find s some sp space drugs. Enemy signal. Defender. It doesn't look like it's anything close to me. Contracts. Escort. Yeah. Not doing an escort. Yeah, see, like, this one mission is half a million. So, once we get, like, a, you know, a decent-sized ship, we can totally be making, like, millions pretty easily. A client of ours has requested some specific goods they wish. Delivered to this station for pickup, obtain the goods, and then deliver them to us. We will ensure you are adequately rewarded. Seven million. For only 121... Wait, payment? Is this how much I'm being... Oh, okay, yeah, so that's my payment, not my, uh... What is it called? Like, it's not a down payment, but it's like a... If you mess up... Okay, search contract. These ones are usually the easiest, because I can do them in my jetpack. And an error cargo capsule is mis misdelivered, and we only know it's rough whereabouts. Need someone capable of finding it before someone else does, or you're up for it. Oh, yes. Gonna go get some space Amazon package. Because he didn't say it's a discrete package this time. Usually they try to avoid what they're talking about. Yeah, this is the other station. Because our a lovely space buggy is not here. We're going on a trip to pick up rocket shit. Nope. Oh, shiz. There we go. Gotta keep that. PG rating. Kind of a bit weird. I started swearing a lot more. Okay, let's see. Where or where are those space trucks go? Maybe I'm talking to myself to make a noise so that I don't go insane in space. <laughs> Is that it? Whoop. Oh. Oh, I'm still slowing down. I'd love some jetpack upgrades in the game. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, keep your helmets open. For a very tiny speck. Oh, and I even... Wow, I really blew past this. Wow. Okay, here it comes. And... This is the last known location. You want to get in the middle of them? Just kind of want to start moving your head around a bit very slowly. Eventually. You will see it.
No, in third person. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. Oh. Mm, nope. What is that? No, it doesn't look like it. Can't tell if I'm just going insane or if the actual skybox is like flickering with the stars. I swear I keep seeing like little flickers of light. Really hoping it's not towards the moon. Usually when it's like in front of a planet, it makes it a lot harder to see. It was one I looked for for like straight 20 minutes and I could never find it. So I looked it up in the uh, admin mode just to see where it was. And it was like, like it was like right in front of a uh, Mars or something. And it was like colored red. Yeah, I wasn't going to see that. Dang, I think I got a little overconfident from the last time we, because last stream we found like two to three like, in like two minutes or less. This one, this one's being a little tricky. It could also be that I'm dead tired right now. Oh, oh, oh! Never mind. There it is. I see it. Right in my crosshairs. I am the king of finding random crap. <laughs> Just ask my mom, I did. She had to deal with all the crud I would bring home. Look, mom, I found this random part piece of a car from a wreck that happened three weeks ago. I want to turn it into a sword or something. Hey, Yuki. Welcome to the stream. How's your day going? Well, I guess, uh, to try to practice a little Japanese, uh, Genki desu ka? Ooh, this actually has a big hanger. That's cool. Okay. Just woke up. Well, good morning. Hope you slept well. Where's the entrance? This is my station, right? Well, not mine, but the one I was at. It's looking awfully different. Are you? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, this is a different station. This is a much nicer station. Does this actually say... Oh, that's crazy. That's my actual time. Cool. Okay, so now I'm at 153. Um, let's see, to get the cheapest ship, get a turtle miner, our kit, mini merchant. I like the look of that one. Okay, mini miner Mach 1. Ooh, hello freighter. I like the look of that one. We can go for a little tugboat, a scout.
Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we definitely need to do one more, at least one to two more search and, not search and rescue, uh, search and finds. Search and contract. And we should be able to get something. Part of me really wants to see what a, uh, what an escort mission would be like in no, in just a suit. See if I could pull it off. But not on hardcore. I am not risking that. Let's see. So yeah. Search and destroy. Uh, search and contract. 55. Like set. Oh, it says maximum distance. Interesting. Okay. So it's not that it's out near 750. It's that it could be as far out as 750. Ah, oh, okay. I've been reading that completely wrong this whole time. Oh, 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 that would have killed us. Hold on. Our suit is dangerously low on power. So we're going to go steal some energy. And we are good to go. Yeah, and hydrogen's looking great. Uh, oxygen's looking fine. This is why I like space more than planets. Because planets just burn your hydrogen like it's going out of style. And thus begins the long journey. So you can keep your eyes peeled looking for a very tiny small pixel that's slightly moving on the screen. Yep. Sounds as fun as it is. Sounds just as fun as it is. It's as fun as it sounds. There we go. Alright, we just passed the location. So I'm going to go back. So this is the this is the search area, so we can look out through here, and we're just going to keep going to stay right there. Going to third person, so we just zoom way out, and then we just kind of start spinning. What's funny is that even at this distance, you can kind of still tell the color of the satellite. You see, like, black boy. Aw, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I haven't even done that for my stream. Because <laughs> I was like, eh, I'm already behind. I'm just going to start streaming. Just get going on it. How's your voice feeling after all your hours of streaming so far? Last one was... Yesterday's was, like, six hours? Or no, was it, like, eight Maybe. No, it's not moving. Yep, I don't tweet for all my streams, only when I want to share. Same, like I always like retweet a lot of my fellow streamers when they're doing a, they're announcing a stream. But like for me, I don't know why, I've always just been, I was considered it tedious to do it from my own. But it was nice of Rodrigo. He was able to uh, set up an auto Discord notification for my streams. So I'm super grateful for that. Because Discord was, with the little bit I do interact on Twitter, Discord was even more barren. Right, so that's a planet over there. The light flickering, though, it's doing. That's essentially what we're looking for. See, last time I started to, like, sound like I was giving up. Maybe if I start, like, talking like that again, it's going to make its appearance. Oh, yeah. Where are you at, love? Show me that little smile, that shine of your hole. Like, ship hole. 
something like whole integrity at 20%. Just thought I had to clarify that just in case. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, you know, even when I streamed like 25 hours, my voice was still the same. It doesn't get tired. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. I... <laughs> Alright. Restart. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was even thinking, wouldn't it be funny if I hit, if I hit the box? Yep. Wasn't as funny as I th thought. <laughs> All right. Whoops. All right. Delete. We'll go back to this one, I think. Yep. Whoopsies. Rodrigo, you missed it. I died. <laughs> Again. With distracted driving. Again. Alright, so now we got the system down though. <laughs> now we're just starting from scratch. Alright, so I will consider this still my starting ship. So we're gonna do a save as, because it is just a starting ship. Attempt number four. Here we go. Question is. Where do we want to start? We do not have a station. We do know there's a station over there, though. Wait, no, that's that's an old body. No, no, never mind. That's the Earth. I thought that was the new one. Um, let's see. Let's head to Mars. We're actually gonna go slightly off to the side. I asked first. He's got you, Yuki. He's called dibs on asking first. Now then, let me show the care content of my character by literally learning nothing from last time and immediately turning my back on the steering wheel so I can start scrapping stuff. Let's get up to max speed. We have 35 minutes of power going at full speed. And max speed, there we go. And take these. Yeah, we don't need walls. Yep. Like, if I could, I'd scrap my own helmet. How about you? I probably don't need to read every text in the uh, chat. Just let you guys talk it out. Don't mind me, just, you know, grinding my own ship away. Oh, cool, it destroyed the light also. That actually saves me time. Hold on, let me make sure, um... Okay, as long as I keep that connected, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna end up like cutting something off that's really important at some point. Okay, no sign of any asteroids ahead, so we're good. Actually getting quite a bit of scrap.
Those connection points, those connection points. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to relocate one of these hydrogen, not hydrogen, uh, ion thrusters. So it's still connected like that, so it won't break. Is there anything on the top? Nope. Don't get... Ion thrusters. Do we want fancy ion or just, you know, let's go regular. Go small. This will give us a bit more stopping power. Hello? I mean, one very risky maneuver I could do is I could just straight up ram this ship into another ship and then, you know, just hope I survive and then infiltrate and take what it's take whatever I want. Oh, hydrogen check. Oh, fine. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. I think that was actually my first legitimate hydration reminder I've gotten so far. Hey, hey. Okay. I'm gonna try stopping and I wanna check out those asteroids. I mean, it seems like a good chunk. There's actually quite a lot around. We'll fly ourselves around. And wait, because I've I've definitely died before getting out of a ship that was still moving. It's the closest one. I think this one. You're just hoping it's uh, uranium or something useful. I have this. I am. Ooh, hold on. Is that? Oh, I think that's some iron. Oh, iron and uranium. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, this is a good asteroid. What's over here? More uranium? That... More iron? More iron? Okay, this is a pretty good spot. Holy cow! Iron there, iron there, uranium there. That was my last one. Uh, it's doing... It's feeling a... It, I do recover pretty quickly. But I definitely won't remember, like, trying not to talk for, like, a good 40 minutes after it. Just because, like, how drained my vocal cords were. It was really interesting, because, like, you know, I have done longer than two hours before, but that one was just wreaking havoc on my vocal cord. Oh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay. Okay, but, like, finding uranium this early? Pretty big. Like, I could probably let those scraps go, but it bothers me so much when I think I'm actually wasting stuff. And actually, let's do it. Let's do it this way. So you can do a... You can do a big dig by holding the other trigger. So I'm going to dig a little bit further down. This trade-off to this is that you don't get any of the material. You just dig faster. Some lights. And I think this is uranium. Can be mixed with the rock a bit. Oh, 
And see, and then it kind of just collects it from back here so we can collect it easy. We might be able to actually, I think I got enough supplies. I might be able to build a drill arm. It's funny, one time I was on it, I actually tried to do a server. I usually don't like playing on servers just because it's very, I always feel like I'm not contributing to like a group. Just because like I, I often don't get much time to actually play games. And so I thought I'd try it on a space engineer to see what it was like. So I've gone to this group of guys, super nice. And um, they put me on ice duty, basically. We land our ship on a big old ice field and they tell me just start mining. I'm like, well, I'm not going to sit here and mine this whole time. That's boring. So I so I designed a drill arm that would just spin around and drill downwards. And they came back and I had like 10 times the amount of ice they thought I would have. Like, how'd you get that much ice? I mean, I built that arm over there. Like, you fecker. It's like, we expected you to just drill it by hand. Huh. Well, glad I passed your expect succeeded your expectations. The French, it is very hard to speak, no? Hmm. So it might be worth checking out some of those unknown signals to get a better drill. Them taking a while. Oh, did you try to learn it in a uh, school, or was it just kind of like on a whim, like just on your own? I'm gonna turn that. I'm gonna turn that drill down on my end. That's loud. Here we got stone, uranium. Yeah, we're still mainly picking up uranium. Ah! How much do you have that? Omelette du fromage? That's about like the extent of my French knowledge. <laughs> I see light. Yeah, a door from us. Eh, oui, oui, a uh, baguette. Well, it's, it, it is just occurring to me now how little French I actually know. Oh, les mots français. wasn't paying attention to my power supply. Yep, had him back. Come on, before I do. Uh, GPS coordinates. New from current position. Uranium and iron. Don't care if that's misspelled. It's just a marker. Eh, this one's really close. Let's go check it out. There's a very good chance it could just blow up. Okay, so first. Like a lioness hunting its prey. 
We circle the catch. We analyze it for any... Oh, 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 hold on. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't have my gun. Okay, those look like timer blocks. Flashing light. No sensors. Uh, oh! I can't tell if that's a warhead or not. Okay. Oh, it's not it's not a warhead. We're good. Ooh. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, dang it. Okay, we'll have to come back for that. Um Where's Yeah, I didn't I didn't even consider. I did not even consider that my inventory is literally full right now. Like, it is literally full. Like, my backpack is, like, dummy thick with uranium-237. Love the speed boost mod, but man, does it make it you overshooting your your stops easy. Hello, welcome on Alice's voice. Yeah, let's do a recharge. Actually, let's just bring this over, maybe. Somehow, removing energy, well, removing weight, it makes us slower. What does fromage mean? So I've seen, that's the one I always, like, heard of. Oh, it's just cheese? Ah, cheese. Got it. Oh, right, because in the Dexter's Laboratory episode I'm thinking of, he's talking about a cheese omelette. Omelette du fromage. Ah, I'm learning. Cool. Oh, almost hit it again. <laughs> Slow approach. Lava welder. You know what's interesting? I just realized I'm salvaging those things I always look for. Well, I got way turned around. Like, I was always looking for, uh... Ooh, um, how are we on oxygen? Oh, we're still... We've got a hundred... A bottle, just a hundred percent. Just our suit hasn't refilled. French lesson. Who needs Duolingo? I'll be honest, I really do not like Duolingo. Like... Like, I think it's funny how the company kind of leaned into the passive aggressiveness of its owl. But it's literally that sometimes. Like... I don't feel like I should be getting shamed by a little green mascot bird because I don't like to study a language every day. I like to do it every other day. Which I know, like, it's like, oh, you learn language faster if you study it every day. Like, yeah, but I don't learn that way. If I do something every day, it gets really taxing on me to do it, which is why I really need breaks. Like, I just need to do other stuff. If I try to do the same thing over and over every day, it just makes me really start to resent it. Probably why I like engineering, because it's always, like, not the same thing every day. You're, you're fixing a different problem, you're working on a different part. Like, I'm not just looking at a bunch of papers going, it's like, who's doing tax evasion this year, hmm? Like, nope, it's more of, gee, why did this coupling break? You know, 10,000 people died, you know? That's more interesting stuff like that. Granted, that's more a civil engineer and not mechanical. Which is also why I didn't want to do that. <laughs> If I make a cruddy product as a mechanical engineer, people just get mad. If, you, if you're a civil engineer and you do that, people die. 
where at worst an entire building collapses and everyone out. Like I guess best case scenario, your bu a building collapses, but everyone was able to be outside during it. I think my ear uh, earphones are starting to go. They're doing a little crackling. They're doing a little snack crackling and popping. Ah. Let's see, should we invest in solar panels? We have batteries. Oh no, we, you know what we need? We need ice. That's where we run off. Do I? Let's look at the basics. Um, basic assembler. There's no such thing as a basic. Yes, there is a basic refinery. Okay, basic assembler and basic refinery. I need a respawn ships will be removed if you spawn a new one. But will it let me? Yep, Yuki really does like emojis. Emoji? And refinery. Put it on the side, maybe. Uh, I need steel. All right, Put that in there. Just grab a bunch of junk. Need one more computer, then a display, and a lot more computers. Which we have neither of those. Neat. Ooh, we also got 2,000 credits. Nice. Um, let's get the ref get the refinery done. There we go. So that's working. Um, uranium's not really that useful to us right now. Actually, right now our priority should be ice. Let's see. So let's go. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Yeah, you. Let's check. Uh, I think that one might actually be closer. Yeah, actually, I think that one might be closer. Up. Oh. Um, let's use... Let's just use the... We're a little low on power, so we're not going to do any mining. We're going to just look around. Oh, first guess? Holy cow, was, I, was, that, was that actually first guess? Wow, okay. <laughs> Well, that solves a major problem. So we're going to go GPS. Uh, we're going to go out a little bit because I like to use GPS coordinates for future, like, traveling through space. So we're actually going to pull this out a bit just so we don't ram into it when we start doing warp jumps. New from current position. Ice, ice, baby. There we go, babby. Okay, now we're going to head back. Oh. Yep. A little bit lower than that, Yuki. He's a youngin. He's a wee little lad. 
He's a feisty one. Yeah, it's been like this whole time. Why is there no... Oh. <laughs> That's why there's no music. Because I literally had it turned off. I say as it just stops again. Did it not save? I think the music just ended when I figured it out. Dang it. Alright, so let's... Oh, right. I remember now. Rock actually makes... Ooh! Oh, that's a freighter. Dang, I thought that was a station. I'm a what? Oh, I should say you're a feisty little boy. Or a feisty one. Kind of just Scottish. <laughs> just find like another uh, John Panette joke. Listen, boy. I don't want to frighten you, but if you're tall fat, the angels won't be able to carry you to heaven. He does it better in Irish, but happy to go be on, go be on your stream once I wake up. Thanks for streaming, Dander. Hey, appreciate you stopping by. We, oui. oui. and prepare to overshoot by a mile in three, two, one. There it goes. Wow. I'm just kind of realizing now how much I scrapped this ship. It's literally the bare essentials. I'm going to whip around and... No, I'm not going. Ugh. Sound like you were saying goodbye. Au revoir, au revoir. To get us some ice. There's be a few spots of ice on there. Ooh, and a calm satellite. You got fooled. Dang. I had the wool pulled over my eyes on that one. Oh, oh, don't, don't crash. Okay. So nice with the eyes, so forming a perfect circle. Let's turn lights off so I'm not wasting power. This day, Dan, I'm still on the look for a YouTube Discord bot. I can't seem to find one. Really, is there not one for that? I mean, I I can probably upload it manually, even though I haven't been doing that. But but I could I might start. You know, I might change. I might become responsible. I might get clean. You never know. You're stuck with me, all of you. Yes, you too, French minister that I see on the user list. Wait, is there another French in the chat? No. Wait, what? The heck is a combat phase? And all I'm doing is digging ice. Who doesn't want me to dig ice? Ice is nice. Eh. Full. And she just woke up, so I imagine it's pretty early. Right. 
Boom, 10 times the ice. Let's refill that. Um, and then, oh, let's move this panel so we can actually see, so we can actually see power. Hello, Samurai Fenokuro. Joke's on you, you're stuck with miss, with miss that Gibda hydration check. Oh, gosh, dang it, I have to drink water again. Hello, Samurai. Thanks for being a first-time chatter. Welcome to the stream. We are gathering ice. Can you can you check who's in chat? Cause I didn't know if you could do that. Oh, that's cool. Is that like under settings or where would you see that? It might be useful because there's a lot of times I can't tell if like someone's left and like if I should just keep talking to them like they're here or with it being the stream of the viewer. Oh, stream viewer. Like on the website viewer or it's You know, if we grab enough ice, we might be able to sell it. Top right corner of the person icon. Come on, let's check this out. Hmm. It might be different on OBS. Because I have like a... Oh no, yeah, user chat. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of people. Uh, Liz Bay, Ice Phone. Oh, is this just people who've clicked in at some point? Because yeah, there's a, there's a lot of names here. Well, if those other people are here, hello! Oh, is Sam one of them? Don't mind if I just... The casual, casual Discord drop. Humph. Uh-oh, Yuki's mad. Sam did not respond. I'm going to apply option. I wonder if I can make... Well, I'd have to finish the assembler first. I was going to see if I could possibly produce better tools, just myself, rather than going for the supply caches. But that might not be viable, considering I do not have the parts. Inventory full. Actually, I think... Let's check some stuff out real quick. Go down, go up. I'm not sure if I can search items. I've actually never tried it before. Or at least in my memory. Where, so if I go in here, I can see, no, go in here. Oh no, I can search items. Okay, so if I look up personal, this module will temporarily negate the effects of personal inhibitor blocks and activate this effect lasts for 30 seconds and will drain 30 points of suit energy. Lots of bot standard. Ah, the names did seem a bit more uh, basic. Let's see. Um, so I do have shields, don't I? Yes, yeah, so I do have these shields, and then I have a little plushie, which I was so mad I didn't I didn't notice that they were selling real ones of these until they sold out. It doesn't look like I have the personal shield mod on which makes this way more dangerous considering the amount of times I have died hitting stuff three times to be precise then from the stream chat they won't be on the list anymore once you banned ah as long as they are banned interesting yeah like I haven't noticed anything for the reason to ban like they haven't really interacted or tried to plug anything but it does kind of suck that they don't count as viewers, though. 
I mean, that's the least the bot could do. I mean, if it's in chat. Which then begs the question, how are they in chat but not considered uh, chat, like, viewers? I swear if those hit my ship. Okay. Okay, last one. Ooh, okay, they lose. Oh, I guess the other ones are hitting the other side of the asteroid. Wow, that's a lot hitting the other side of the asteroid. We need affiliate. Darn right we do. It, it's kind of funny though. When I started like streaming, I was watching a lot of the like, how to grow your audience videos, how to do this on stream, how to do this and that. And the amount of people who are like, it's super easy to get affiliate. All, like you'll have it within like three, like three to four weeks, maybe a month at the most, like two months at the most. And I'm like, I've been going for a year. <laughs> Yeah, you know, still loved it, but it is kind of like, it is a little like sad though for me, I feel where, like, I think most other, like the other streams I've known for a while, they have affiliate already, so, which, you know, props to them. I think my biggest problem or challenge I'm facing is that I, I can't really stream consistently. I do try to stream at least once a week, but sometimes that things pop up. I would like to stream a bit more, but it really depends on my roommate, since I do have a shared room. Good bots and bad bots, but not many. Yeah, I definitely gotten quite a few of the bad ones who are just, hey, here's a like here's here's a link to my stuff. Check it out. Yeah, like. Like, you never want to advertise something in someone's chat, because that usually just ticks people off. Because, hi, Dander. Uh, is the pit maneuver less effective against RWD and 4WD cars? I have no idea what that is. What's a pit maneuver? <laughs> I'm being asked things I don't know. Beam Labs already did the dumb bot. Thirty, nice. Okay, thanks. Anyways, have a nice stream. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't help. Um, if I had to make a, any suggestion, Google, I guess. I I know next to nothing about cars. I guess we can we can try to figure it out. Like, try to f solve his problem from a non like. Being someone who doesn't understand cars, I might be able to give out of the box solutions. So let's let's reanalyze his comment. So, so is a pit maneuver less effective against RWB and 4WD cars? Okay, so first we have to figure out what a pit maneuver is. So from memory, pits are those kind of like uh, kind of like trenches in a. I've seen, I've seen weirder, but um. The, so the pit is like that thing where they lift cars up and you can walk underneath them. So it probably has something to do with that. And now a, was it a 4W or a, uh, yeah, an RW. Okay, so, oh, I think it's, okay, so it's rear wheel drive cars and a four wheel drive car. Okay. So does a pit maneuver, is it less effective? against okay so so he's fighting okay so we've established that he is probably in like one of those car what is it a derby or something a wreck derby or something so that's probably what he's, he's talking about now from my own personal experience i personally like my talking from personal experience of inexperience of fighting cars uh my family car that i drove was a 2008 suburban which had either four wheel or rear wheel uh rear wheel drive pretty sure it was four though and that that sucker tore through the land like it was none other like it was a work of art that thing i mean i don't know why i'm saying like it is i still have access to it and it still very much works great i just have a smaller car now but oh the pit maneuver is when a police car forces a fleeing car car to turn sideways Abruptly causing the driver to lose control and stop. Oh, okay. So, a rear view. You're smacking the rear view, so... I'd say four... 
it's, it's probably less effective on a four-wheel drive, I would guess, because the front tires are still gripping the ground and aren't dealing with the pressure of the other car. So I'd assume a four-wheel's better. <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> Trying to avoid... Just currently driving, watching the stream, hoping anyone has information on that in case, you know, an unforeseen police interaction occurs. This thing you can use against a car is an M1147. Stop. I have liked a lot of, like, car memes, though, that I kind of understood. It's like, I get the struggle of trying to do maintenance on a car sometimes because there's this one, it's like, all these different tools to get a bolt off, and it's like, please get off. Please, it's like, hey, I, I really need this bolt to get off, and it keeps getting in more and more professional tools to eventually the last option is, you can't be, you can't be stuck if you're liquid, and it's just like a blowtorch. Uh, that is so me. I would totally burn my enemies just because they weren't doing what I wanted. Okay, but I do gotta ask, though, like, seriously, though, Forza, like, that is an interesting way to enter a stream. What, 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 in, what brought up the question? And now I want to try, try a pitfall maneuver on a ship. But I'd probably just wreck the front end of my ship. We'll do it one day, but not when we're made of paper mache and glass. Like when I have a big old dreadnought and I have shields. The car is going to stop, but after it hits another car... Inventory full. That's another batch. I really want to go check out that comm satellite. But I'm going to try to have... I swear if Colorado and um, Space Waster show up, I am going to be doing some very stupid things. So we have to make as much progress as possible before those two show up. Doing a pit maneuver on a fighter jet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now that would be bad, eh? That is some Tom Cruise um, Top Gun stuff right there. I decided to ask this question because I was curious about the specifications Energy low. Ooh, of a pitfall maneuver. I mean, I'd say in my unprofessional driver experience, it'd be I think it would be more effective against a two-wheel drive car. Because don't usually four wheels always just have better traction? No, like just overall better, better control? Like, I feel like that's the case. Because I've definitely... Like, I've slid in both of my cars. And when I when I slid on the highway in a Suburban... Like, I felt like I could... I was in full control. Even though I was, you know, sliding, you know... Which doesn't imply you're in control, but I was able to, like, pump the brakes and slow down. Meanwhile, when I started driving, you know, a regular small person car, um, it, it definitely was harder to stop turning. <laughs> Wrong streamer, buddy. I'm more of, like, you want obscure, you know, like, lore about Star Wars and 40k, and the occasional drawing of anime girls. And then bad impressions every few minutes. Specifically, accents. Okay, for the sake of content creation, I'm probably going to stop with gathering ice after this batch, and then we'll move on. Because now that we know where a huge chunk of ice is, we're we're pretty set. French. Ah, uh, but my you, is it French? I am no good. Ah, but my... At my I'm trying to think of something to say. <laughs> let's see, um... Let's see, what's... What's what's Frenchy but not insulting? <laughs> oh, thanks, Samurai, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something like brothers. Oh, here's here's something in here's something I always quote because it's from a comedic. Uh, understandable. Can you make an accent by my country, Italy, specifically from Turia? <laughs> oh, you're being way too specific. Rats! Oh, why does it keep yelling at me? I support this request. Alright. Um, see, I'll, I'll try French and Italian. Um, okay. So this is comedian who... I think he's Romanian? 
but he, he made a joke. He's like, here's the general gist of French culture. <clears throat> Life is hard, and then you die. C'est la vie. So there, there's a little bit of French. And it's always funny. I noticed to get into accents, there's little phrases I say to help. Like, you know, monsieur is something I always say to get into French. Monsieur, your baggage, it is ready. And then Italy. <laughs> Live is eat. <laughs> I guess that's the Portuguese. <laughs> and then Italian. Inventory. I know, my, my, my natural go-to is Boppity Boopy. <laughs> Because that's all I get from like Family Guy. Whenever they someone tries to, whenever they make fun of Italians, there's at least at least one boppity and at least two boopities in there somewhere. Let's see. I can only do like, I feel like I can only do like American Italian. Well, it's just essentially just mobsters. <laughs> Japanese request. Okay. Um. Oni san, daisuki desu. No. Let's see, um, let's see what else can I try saying. Um, Ohio? I can all... Hey, that's just Southern Italian. Ah! Uh, good accent? Why, thank you. Let's see, um... Okay, other... I'm trying, I'm trying to do the courage, because like I always try to be careful with the accents. Um, so, better Italian, um... I'm trying to think of, it's so hard, like, I always quote stuff, and now that I'm, like, on stream, on point, with a whole bunch of audience, I'm like, I don't want to do it. It's the Italian, um, uh, okay, usually, <laughs> I started to realize my usual go-tos are from comedians, so Italian, it would be J uh, Jim Gaffigan's making fun of the pasta bread bowl, where it's, um, it's like, ah, it's a pasta bread bowl, it's just like a Mama Domino used to make. Just say Mamma Mia and he'll be happy. Mamma Mia, I tell you, La Pedro, he's gone too far. No, see. <laughs> Mamma Mia, Capadre. Not Capadre. <laughs> I am mixing up so many cultures right now. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'll just go for the stereotypical. Mamma Mia. Mama, uh. Mamma Mia, Luigi, you see what those American fools are doing? They're putting the pineapple on my pizza. So they are ruining Mama's special delicacy. Mamma Mia. Also, my other favorite quote to say is, You've Mama Gelas Mia. Load shocking with French, with Italian intent. Oh, that one too. I used to always say that one all the time. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. Well, am I funny to you? Am I wearing shoes? Do I wear a big clown hat? Oh, what's that actor's name? He was in Home Alone and like Goodfellas or something. Uh oh. Seeing a lack of responses, I may have offended the Italians. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up and there's gonna be like wet noodles around my neck or something. Last one, British accent request, my favorite one. Oi, bruv, you got a license for that. <laughs> Your pizza just has pepperoni. <laughs> see, um, see, there's a few British I have done. I've done, like, ye old British, and, and then there's the classic, Oi, bruv, you got a license for that. Let's see, um, my dearest Elizabeth, I write to you this day on the day of our birth, or whatever, the... That the that I de beseech through the highest request that the estate is going under in quite desperate circumstances. Marital issues have continued. I'm offended. I am amused. <laughs> oh, I am not offended. I'm amused. Okay. <laughs> oi, oi. What's all this? The. That's all. I feel like I can definitely do accents better, but I feel like I'm breaking under pressure and I'm smiling, so it's really hard to like get the proper like. Lip placement. And then there's Scottish. Scottish is the one I feel I can do quite decently, but you know, that kind of just comes with it. You do it enough, and you know, by, by old golly gee, you just kind of start doing it. And then there's, there's a little bit of the Irish, which is a little bit higher pitched Scottish, and then it, you kind of say a little bit of the same, and it's just a little bit of my Irish blood coming through, along with the alcoholism. 
Bye, Jimmy James. That's a big asteroid right there. And I just went immediately into Southern. Just day in it. Cole Cole Voa. Alright, um. Southern is. Southern, uh, English is one I definitely like doing a lot. Quill shoe, Cletus. Well, why don't you go polish that shotgun of yours and we'll go out and have yourself a nice proper festival. How many hours do you have in this strange space game? Um. <laughs> Probably a lot. This is like by far one of my most played games. And yet I still die a lot. Let's check it out though. I'm curious. Uh, Space Engineers. I have 874 hours. Which, which calculates to, well now I'm curious. How much, how many days? How many days have I spent doing this? So 874 divided by 24. I've spent 36.4 days in this game. <laughs> so I, I have literally spent an entire month and more in this game. Those are rookie numbers. Honestly, yes, I have friends who have games in the thousands. I have no idea how they do that. I probably have more in uh, Minecraft, but I don't think it counts your hours. Because I was... I was there the day Minecraft was born. I remember when pushing R used to respawn you. I remember when the... There wasn't bedrock. It was just lava underneath you. Ooh, new stuff. I have 2,000 errors in a dead game. Oh, what is this? What game is it? <gasps> Silicone. Yes. Let us get the big scooper. We got ourselves a big haul right here. We'll be buying Bud Lights for years with this haul. Yeah, I, I definitely Southern is by far still one of my favorites to do. And then see another another American accent. I really like trying to do Minnesota. Oh, Rave One peeps. Oh, you're asking the chat. For me personally, I think Scottish sounds the coolest. Mordhaw. Oh, so what, what game is that? I haven't heard of it. And you too, Dan. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I gave my answer. It's mostly Scottish. I like Canadian, eh? Oh, hey, you know, my grandma's Canadian. Oh, yeah, she immigrated down when she was about, you know, four. Or just a wee little four-year. It's, it's, I love how, like, I unconsciously switch between accents when I'm trying to do one. It's like when my mind doesn't know what to make sound, it switches to another accent that it knows it has a response to that. A medieval slasher game? Ooh. Wait, is it that zombie one? Or was it like, um, what's it called? There was like a really popular one, like Chivalry? Is it similar to that? Let's see, what accent haven't I attempted yet? No, no, it's a chivalry like game. Okay, so like realistic arm movements and stuff, and you have to, you have to actually physically block the direction. Well, I'm gonna head out now. Y'all have fun with accents. Well, you all take care now. You hear, Rodrigo? We we love having you by. Come on back down, and we'll have yourself a nice, sweet tea, diddly, delicioso dessert or whatever. I also like. I've also tried to like do other accents in different languages. And the result is horrifying, where I often try to do... So when I'm practicing Japanese, I'll sometimes go full Southern when I'm doing it. I'll just be straight up, Konnichiwa, Kapadre! Oh, my mo shindeu! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one I usually try, like, the most. Yeah, that's fun. I have been told, like... I'm probably not doing my best accents right now, but I have been told that when I in Japanese class, I am doing a decent job actually getting the right tones. Yeah, it's a dead because the skill floor is too high for a newbie. That is a definitely a big danger for those kind of games. It's like, it's it's if it's too hard to get into, then it just dies, even if it's a good game. So wait, if it's a dead game, uh, do you just like play with like the few people who are on? Is there a single player?
Uh, you know what I just realized? I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to listen to all my accents I just attempted to when I edit this video. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm already self-conscious enough. Inventory full. <laughs> That's like the worst part of like doing content creation is that you have to hear your own voice a lot and then you have to hear like the stuff you say and do. Like 90% of the time I'm just like cringing like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I say that? No, please. The skill floor is too high and the people left playing it are mostly elite players. That's kind of how, um, that's unfortunately how, so I used to love For Honor. Like I loved playing it, but that's unfortunately what it's kind of become. Well, it's definitely not too hard to get into, but everyone just plays Peacemaker and it's really frustrating. So I don't know if things have changed, like I haven't played in forever. But like, like when it came out, man, did I love it. And of course, the weeb I am, I always played Orochi. Because I just freaking, like, like, I'll oh admit, like, I am a full-blown weeb trying to learn Japanese and, you know, want to go to Japan one day and trying to make my own comics and stuff. But the, but the Orochi fight style is just so good. <laughs> Thank you, Rodrigo, for the Discord plug. The Orochi is so much my fight style, I love it. He's lightweight, but just incredibly fast. So he's like a death by a thousand cuts kind of stat strategy, and I really love that. And like, not a lot of games can pull that off, because usually the death by a thousand cuts character is just so weak compared to everyone else, that unless he's supported by someone else, they're just going to get targeted and killed e easily. But like, uh, the Orochi, what made him super nice is that he had the Iron Lung upgrade, so essentially, like, no matter how much exertion you put yourself through, you could always still run. So you could still back up, re refill your stamina, and then charge back in. Specifically with a tidal crash move, I think it's called, where it's like, he gets down to the floor, braces his sword, and then charges with an over-the-head slash. Man, that was, like, my favorite move to do. It got blocked 90% of the time because it's super orchestrated, like, anyone can see you're doing it. But it was just so... It's like, when they hit, like... What I like is, like, the Orochi doesn't do a lot of damage. But when you start doing damage in certain ways, you pile on the damage. And I love it. More more games need to get the lighter weight characters done right. Okay. I'm not sure how much silicone we really need. Ooh, it is processing it, though. Uh, so we got the silicone. Let's let's get let's check out the asteroids around the area, and then we will decide. So we got uranium. That's a really big thing. Uh, we got some iron. Got some of that urn. Uh, silicone's very useful. Uh, we got more ice up here, which you know we don't need any more ice right now. And. Then, I don't really want to make a base. Like, I try making bases. I just do not have the creative mindset for structures, I have discovered. Meal in the microwave. Nice. What you eating? Well, speaking, speaking of food, and you are French, I'll bring this up. My brother absolutely loves cooking. And that might be stereotypical to say that for French people. <laughs> but, you know, he, he, he lived in France for a bit, and he got really into cooking. And my gosh, like, I was posting this all over my Twitter and Discord yesterday, but, like, he can cook. Like, he made, by far, one of the best steaks I ever had yesterday. And, like, ooh, shepherd's pie? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I fell in love with shepherd's pie a few, uh, a few years, like, three years ago, before, like, I really did not like pie, like, any form with, at all, and I would never eat it. And then one day I was at someone's house and, you know, they offered dinner. So I said, oh, yeah, I'd love to have dinner here. And it was just the best pie I've ever eaten. Shepherd's pie is king. Which is ironic because it's a shepherd's pie. It should be called the Lord's pie. And she's probably the combat phase has ended. Again, what is the combat phase? I can make you pizza, I guess. Not nice. I, I am curious about that, because... I know, what would, like... You, you always hear, like, oh... Because, you know, in America, we have all these different cultured foods around, but we have them in, like, fast food form. I really want to kind of taste a lot of the, the actual 
pure from pure from the motherland taste of stuff. And I wondered like how different they would actually taste. Uranium, ice, ice, uh, silicone. Yeah, I didn't mark it. Um, let's check out. Let's let's refill our energy, and we shall be on our way again. More ice. How much? Uh, this is the thing. I'm. I never know. I'm so used to build like. I'm so used to building in creative because that's my preferred op game mode. I'm never sure what how uh, what I need to build stuff. And it's mainly why I always play with the Nanite Factory mod, because it just takes so much of that uh, worry away. Where it's just, you place down the wireframe of the block and then the Nanites will build it for you. You don't have to carry supplies back and forth. Problem is like that, that block is incredibly expensive. Let's go check out this smooth one, see what's on this one. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get a bit more silicone. Oh, that's the ice one. Right, I moved it over. So let's check out this one. So let's check out this last asteroid. Mine about... Uh, like, say, 40,000 more. Uh, more silicone. And then we will be good to go. Oh, it's also cool. With the Nanite Factory, you can actually tell it to... You can also tell it to... Um, also do mining. Which is super nice, so the little nanites will go into the ground and they'll dig for you. Let's see. Ooh, okay. We got a new mineral, platinum. So we're gonna back up. And GPS, new from position, platinum. I also play a lot of Dwarf Fortress. Have you heard of it? Isn't that, is that the new one? Where it's like, you're in like a, you're like space dwarves or something, and you have like special abilities. Oh, excuse me. Um, where's my ship? Where's my ship? There it is, okay. If, if it is that one, Lol, no. Oh, then sorry. I don't know which which one that is. Told you, shepherd's pie is Aji Paramata, my guy. Let's see, okay. So silicone first. Can't have dirty space. The, the knockoff of dead space, dirty space. That's essentially just the start to Wally, -E, I guess. You know, something just occurred to me. So I'm wearing newspaper asteroid, not asteroid, astronaut clothing. I really wonder if the creators put any secret messages on all these words i'm kind of curious i want to check uh five daily for sale the speaker anything on the crotch i would laugh if they did put something on the crotch specifically just like well i might not say that on christian stream well, you, well, well i'll still think it definitely be thinking it. Dang, and now I want Shepherd's Pie. <laughs> mm. Pie. Also fell in love with, like, uh, regular pie, too. Like, before, I never used to eat it. Not sure why, I was always just like a... I was a very picky kid when it came to food. But, like, I would just... There'd be foods everyone would eat, and I would just say no. It's a game that's been developed since 2002 and is still going strong since the Steam release in a couple of months ago. It's actually the first civilization management type game. Really, it's the first. I do I do like civilization management games. 
Like, that's literally a whole series I'm doing, but in Minecraft, where it's mine colonies. So I get to manage a whole bunch of human-looking NPCs in Minecraft, building a town, and super fun, by far, best Minecraft mod ever made. And I, I and to answer some questions, I actually was able to... So Yuki, I don't know if you remember how I was complaining about not being able to access the Discord for help. They, I think they did fix it. I was able to interact with them and actually get help. And so I do know how to fix the problem I was having last time. And I know how to, to actually set down that building we're trying to set down. So the, the truth is, not every style of... Uh, or inspired, inspired by RimWorld. Ooh. I don't think I've actually ever heard of Dwarf Fortress until now. I've heard... Isn't RimWorld the act like the inspiration for Halo? And just spin like a wheel. Inventory full. All right. I think now we'll go get some plutonium or platinum. Yeah, we're going to have supplies for a while. Um, where's the platinum? Ooh, and it's on the way to Mars. That actually works out pretty good. All right, so we're an hour and a half in. We're going to try to get to a space station. So we're going to mine here for a bit. And then we're going to go try to go get to a space station so we can start doing contracts again, getting money, and maybe sell some of our stuff. Because we're, we're finding a lot of high value stuff. We haven't found gold, though. Doing my pit maneuver question, I'm going to go now since it's 1.30 a.m. Hey, all good. Appreciate you stopping by. Have some good boppity boopies or whatever you say to each other when good night. Don't let the raviolis get crusty or something. Bye. Thing. Now I just imagine like a bunch of like an Italian mother tucking her kids in in like um, lasa like lasagna plat pallets, you know, which are just big flat noodles. <laughs> and then like you know, little little Antonio like you know pulls on his mother's apron because all Italian women mother all Italian mothers wear aprons, and he's like, "Mama, the the bed pot, the bed sauce has gotten cold. Could you warm it up?" And so she goes to the kitchen, warms up a pot of like sauce, and just pours it on top. Uh, if this isn't how actual Italy Italy is, I'll be very disappointed in your entire culture. Like, if you dare be normal, I will be so disappointed. <laughs> If you don't meet my American expectations of normous normalness, I will be so upset. We might have to come over and borrow some oil from you. Let me see how heavy plutonium. Platinum. Ah, uh, it's not plutonium. I got a text who who disturbs my stream along with accents i always try to do uh oh hey thanks for the following kofi i appreciate it samurai samurai of anarchy dang that's just a cool name oh is that what your actual name is oh dang i've been reading that wrong i've been reading as samurai fanarchy but not fa but not samurai of anarchy wow Dyslexia coming in strong today. Ooh, and I also just got paid. Sweet. Yep, work paycheck just came in. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, I, I like getting those notifications. They're fun. <laughs> I'll be able to live, yep. Which, honestly, I'm super happy with because I've been making a lot of purchases recently. And I've been starting to worry, like, oh no, I might have overdone it. Because, you know, I bought this new 
art monitor, which I really need to use for a stream some days. So we might be doing that soon. Um, I bought a new coffee table that folds out into a desk, which is really awesome. Um, I had to buy four, four to three new rolls of uh, printing filament. And also, annoyingly, my boss, well, my other boss, uh, hasn't sent me the labels to complete an order. And I've been waiting for it over a day, which is, you know, not something I like to do because I would have streamed yesterday. But I was waiting for him to respond so I could, you know, print the labels and drop them off. But he never responded the whole day. So I just sat there, you know, doing nothing. Well, I wouldn't say entirely nothing. I did some writing, which was fun. And I wanted, I wanted to come home soon so I could stream. But I couldn't leave until I got a response. Ooh, writing. Yeah, I got the first chapter of one of my books written. Or well, webcomics, I should say. It's not really a book. Um, and, well, I think it's web novel. It's kind of hard to s describe them because I want to put art in there, you know, some drawings. But I, I somewhat... It's really hard to explain it because there's this style of writing that I came across that I really like where it's, it's a mixture of comics and books or web comic web web novel that's what they're called well partially it's like a mixture of a web comic and a web novel where you you, you know you, just, you do everything through writing but occasionally you retell a part of the story in a comic form and it's usually just like a one page panel or one page with a few panels and they just have some key dialogues it's like i like that because i you know i loved making a comic for years but it takes so much work to do that and it's so slow that it, it's really easy to lose energy or motivation to do it because well it, it is also because i'm not really good at writing so i was writing that comic to be slow to be uh lengthened out because i wanted to be you know like a big long story but i think the i went too far in like I was trying to spend so much time on building characters, nothing was really going on in the story. But I think by switching over to novelization for a bit, I'll be able to learn and improve my actual writing skills. But that's a big spiel to give off, but you know. Just trying to give an insight to some of the projects I'm doing. Oh yeah, <laughs> like an absolute lunatic, while I was waiting for my boss to respond, I, was, I just had the random urge to, like, I want to make a katana out of PVC. And so, while I'm sitting there for hours waiting, I find a PVC pipe, cut it, then spend about three hours hunched over a heat gun trying to soften up the PVC pipe to then shape into the si size and shape of a sword. And I did decent in the shaping part, but it's very wrinkled it's very warped the method i used to flatten it left huge dents in it so i'll have to reheat and squeeze it with more uniform pressure because before it was like heat a section clamp it heat a section clamp it heat a section clamp it and that just left a bunch of clamp marks all over it so i definitely got to fix that Wait, did I, didn't I start digging from the outside? Did I go through? Oh, no, never mind. That's a different spot I'm thinking of. Okay. So we can't make uranium. I'm not sure if we can make platinum in here. Let's see. We cannot. It's too advanced. We need a big refinery to do that. So that'll just go into storage for now. And when we do go to a station... We need to buy displays and computers. Let's move over a little closer. Hopefully we won't crash. The other thing would be kind of nice is if Twitter, not Twitter, Twitch, kind of gave you an option to kind of show where you're from on your username. I think it would make 
For me, I think it would make remembering people a lot easier because I can get that second attribute to attach to their name. It's like, I'm definitely like worried like Samurai or Pasuyu or Yuki is going to come back and I'm just going to completely switch their nationality and I'm going to get it wrong. Like, I don't know, Yuki's gonna come in one day, I'm gonna be like, ah, bopity boopy, how, how be the Mamma Mia's, you know? And then, you know, you know, I said, I'm just breaking my mother's heart. <laughs> you can't, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm making the hand gesture. <laughs> the Italian hand gesture we all know. That's like 90% of the accent right there is the, the bopity boopy hand. I saw this uh, video recently where it was like, um, I'm not sure what to call it. It's not NASCAR. It's like this Formula One, I think. Like the super fast race cars that are super lightweight and like the, the drivers exposed. So I was watching a video of them and there's an, it's a, there's the Italian driver and he crashes and he goes full Italian mode. Well, like the camera man even zooms in on him and you see him making the hand gestures so angrily at the other driver that crashed into him and like people just added the caption like muffled angry italian noises I'm like ah oh. like, that is too good All right, Yuki, now that I've done all these accents, when I come watch your next stream, I'm, I'm expecting you to do a bunch of accents too. Seems only fitting. I'm surprised I didn't get asked to do a German accent, which is also where my family heritage comes from. So I got a, I've got a German, Finnish, Irish, Canadian, and I think a little bit of Swedish. I haven't checked in a while though. One of these days I gotta try, uh, so this is Space Engineers, um, created by Keen Software. One day I need to try out, uh, Medieval Engineers again. Which was, it was, it was fun a few times when I've played it, but there's not as much content in it as Space Engineers. Which, it could definitely be pretty cool. Like, it has this whole, it has a really cool system of, like, it's mainly a castle builder. Um, and it works very similar to this, but, um... The thing is, the buildings actually have w physics, so you can't just build up and uh, build a tower, or else the weight will crush the tower, and it will collapse and do damage to other stuff, and it's a very realistic collapsing. So, super satisfying to watch, and you can actually use tension and ropes to build trebuchets and catapults and stuff. Like, I was pretty proud of myself one time, because I made a rotating, aimable catapult. So it had a whole bunch of different pulleys you could pull on and it would realign which way you were facing, how high you were looking up. Yeah, super, super satisfying game. Like, cause I, I used to build uh, cities in them. So I build a town, I build a keep, well, a gate keep. I wonder if there's so in on YouTube 
Um, you actually get a demographic view of like where your viewers come from around the world. Super cool feature. I wonder if Twitch has something like that. We can see the percentage of your viewers. Because strangely enough, I get quite a few Australians, uh, South Americans, and I think... I think quite a few... Like, I think American might be my least amount of people who actually watch, which is super interesting to me. We didn't grab a whole lot of uranium now that I'm looking at it. It was fun having a bunch of people here to, for this stream to talk to. Usually it's just me and Rodrigo. Yeah, he's great to talk to. Definitely makes streaming a lot easier, but it makes it super fun when there's like other people. So you can bounce ideas off. You can just talk, get ideas for, you know, like, what do you want me to do to be entertaining? Because often when it's just like me doing something, there's definitely that always that feeling of always like, ooh, I don't know if I'm being entertaining or not because no one's saying anything. So, 36. Yeah, let's just use this. Link. Okay, so we put 10,000 in there. I'm kind of bored of mining right now. This place is marked, so we can come back to it. I am going to start traveling this way. Then I think I might start making some modifications to the ship. get up to speed and I'm very happy we're getting out of range of those comm stations because I have learned that if you get close to them they send drones oh but just 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 they wait because once I get a big ship I'm gonna be wrecking some havoc on those stations oh nope put dampers on full speed I think it's on the stream summary on foam that you get with a notification once you just end your stream. Oh, they can get that. I'll check that out. Let's see. Um, so let's grab a bunch of steel plates. So essentially, I kind of want to make a... That's not what I want. Here we go. Kind of like a needle nose, just so that if I do crash into something, it's a lot less likely for me to die. That. And we're going to expand the ship. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just expand it a bit more off to the side. I'm gonna move a little up and over to the side. Saw a good percentage from Canada when I raided before. Interesting. Definitely, it's kind of funny. I do, so on Twitch, I do notice I get you know, on Twitter, I do notice I get interact with a lot of Canadian VTubers, which I think is pretty funny. It's like, it's not even like I'm looking for them or anything. Like, I'll just, like, I'll, there was someone I knew for, like, a few months. And there was just, like, this one obscure reference to Canadians in one, in one tweet. And then she said, like, oh, yeah, I'm Canadian. I'm like, what? <laughs> and how long were you hiding this? Nom nom, delicious, yay, eating meal. Mm, very good. My most recent meal was a, um... See, what was it? It was one tortilla with peanut butter and honey wrapped up with a green apple, uh, a granola bar, and two cookies. That ain't a meal, sir. <laughs> well, it's not my fault my roommate to ate all, like, a majority of my tortillas. So I was only left with one tortilla with peanut butter and honey. Also, that is the meal of my childhood right there. That is what I ate all the time. Uh, 
That is the meal of champions right there. Okay, let's double layer it. Alright. We're making good progress towards Mars. It's getting a lot bigger. Meat? Sauce? Eh, I do have meat, but that's work. I, I am planning to do some... Like, my go-to dinner is spicy chicken with rice wrapped in a burrito. But, um, unfortunately, I'm out of burritos. So, I'll just be doing just regular rice and chicken. I saw some of my roommates, like... I swear they move my food around. Never ate a burrito. <gasps> Impossible. Or whatever the French would say. Um, how have you never had a burrito? Oh, is this what it's like? I'm so used to people saying that to me. Like, how have you never eaten this? How have you never eaten that? This is so weird. This is what it's like to be on the other end of the shoe. <laughs> yep, yeah, possible. All right, let's see. I want now. I'm curious about what other weird foods, or different foods that you and I haven't eaten. Um, let's see, what's a weird, weird or different food? Okay, this is a family tradition. I, what do you eat with pork chops? I will judge you heavily on this because there is one addition that must always go with pork chops, and no one else does it but my family. Well, people and then people from Nebraska, because that's where my mom got it. Like, a majority of people? Mashed potatoes? Yes, but there is something infinitely better than that. Cheesecake or... You've never had a cupcake. That, that one is actually more surprising than the burrito. I thought, like, cupcakes were everywhere. Are they not? Yeah, so... So... My family tradition for food, when it comes to pork chops, is pork chops and applesauce. And you dip the pork chop in the applesauce. It is the best thing humanity will ever achieve in its entire existence. It is like if you took the pure dopamine dump drugs give you with zero, zero drawbacks. I think they're uh, in France. Yep. Eight muffins. Muffins are good. Okay, do people eat muffins for breakfast? Like, for their breakfast, not just, like, with their breakfast. Because sometimes, here, there's, like, certain muffins that are, like, healthier, I, air quotes, that people will eat f just for breakfast. And they're filling enough that you don't need to eat anything else. It's what we would do a lot on, like, scout trips, where they would give us one muff, half a muffin, and a carton of chocolate milk. And that's all we'd be given. <laughs> for our breakfast and like strangely it kept us full no matter what we were doing that day granted like we still had lunch and dinner but like you would expect to be starving with how little it was but it was really like sustaining dang now I want muffins uh where did my phone go well, I'm going to be a responsible driver and not look at my screen. Well, I'm going to not look at that screen. I'm going to look at my phone screen while I'm driving at 400 miles an hour. And surely nothing bad will happen. Unless I get, like, pulled into the gravity, actually. That might be bad. Uh, move over slightly. <laughs> Just in case. Whoa! Hold on. Wait, did someone actually get me something on Kofi? I thought they just followed. Hold on a second. We gotta check this out. I don't know. Baguette, cheese, jam, butter, milk, and cereal. Don't know. Now that's all. That's all some pretty uh, normal stuff. Oh my gosh, thank you, Samurai. I didn't realize you actually sent something. Holy cow, you're my first supporter. Thank you. Holy cow. 
I was having a pretty crappy day. I was trying to keep low point on that. That just made my week. Oh, I feel bad now. The Kofi didn't make the Kofi didn't make a announcement. It's supposed to do that on stream. I hope you're still here, cause yeah, that just made my day. Um. Oh, I'm not logged in. That's why I can't see. He is. He's awesome. He's the champ. Let me log in with is that Google. Okay, um, we're getting close to Mars. A little too close. We're actually going to move a lot this way. I'm going to hold this for a bit. Okay, keep your peepers peeped. Already exists. Verify. Let's see. Um, here, let me check. Where's my laptop? Oh, it's in my backpack. Give me a sec. I'm trying to log in to check my Kofi because I have two not few co notifications that I didn't realize. Ah, oh, say. So Sam, Sam's your name, Samurai? Or is that just a abbreviation? Oh, I just realized. Sam, Samurai. Ah. Uh. Still no stations. Ah, it fell. My backpack fell over. How far have we gone? 250,000 kilometers. Okay, uh, let me log into my laptop real quick. Hopefully, this should let me log into Kofi. It wasn't letting me do it on my phone. Mainly because I forgot my password. Okay, log in. Oh, good. Okay, it looks like you remembered. Oh shoot! 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 We're in gravity. Oh shoot! This ship can't handle gravity. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Move! 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 Go, 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 go. Any chance you guys can support me with some hydrogen? Oh, gosh. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> kind of panicking right now. Okay. Gravity hasn't increased. But we are getting pulled down slightly. All thrusters forward. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that. Ooh. Okay, it's going back down. It's going back down. Ooh. Okay, we're out. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to slow down for a bit. Yeah, thank you, Samurai. That's awesome. Very much appreciate that. I should update my Kofi, though, because I think it's like its current goal is to help me get a new computer, but that was a while ago. I actually got my new computer already. So it's and it's super nice. It runs streams great. Okay. A little disappointed that we haven't seen a station yet. Um, we can we can try going to Earth next. Here, um, I'm going to turn on the hydrogen engine. Okay, um, let's go check out this asteroid belt. Control drone. Doesn't seem like they're heading towards me. Let's head over here. I was really hoping we'd hit a station by now. Well, I could... Hold on. So we are on the edge of its gravity, right? So we're going to try... We're going to do some exploring in our personal jetpacks.
Okay. Um, are they in atmosphere? Are they falling? I, <laughs> I think that one got caught in atmosphere. It's going down. Either that or it's heading towards me. And I, I like to be on the more optimist side that the, hopefully they're plummeting to the... Nope, they're coming back up. So much for optimism. <laughs> Alright. Um, man, that thing's moving fast. Holy cow! That thing's like going at a blazing speed. But it's going away from us, so you know, that's good. Destroy Claw Fighter. And then the patrol drone is following it. If I wasn't so weak, I would want to figure out what that is. But I'm going to try leading them away from my ship. Oh, 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 hold up. Turning on the couch, move my laptop charger here. Took my boiler of water. Boiler water. Well, you got a license for that boiler water. Love. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. There's also a Easter egg on Mars, I think, and Earth. We can check out sometime. Okay. We're going to have to be pretty careful with this. Because gravity is going to burn through my fuel, so... We have to make sure I have enough to get back. But luckily, my thrusters are a lot stronger than ion. So I can definitely comfortably go down to the surface to check it out. We have entered gravity, so now we can just let nature take its course, and it's going to naturally speed us up a bit. That patrol drone is very persistent, though. Oh, there it goes. Don't forget the bowl of water. One of my best bases I ever built was on Mars, though. It was super cool. I used uh, Creative a little bit to form a donut ring asteroid kind of looking thing and i built like big old areas where i could fly my destroyers upward and dock them it was pretty neat tasty teasy i have the right of a fave accent being british one oh water but of water tee all right yeah see i just stopped immediately so i'm gonna fall a bit Actually, let's, let's scour the top. So we're going to go at breakneck speed. And make sure that we are going up. Oh, just lost all momentum because I put my dampeners back on. There we go. Now we're just floating through the cosmos for free. Definitely want to turn that off. That's going to turn the, my headlamps off. Can I still spin? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. There was this one Star, not Star, uh, Space Engineers challenge I did. Where I was like, can I get to Earth? Oh, shoot. The ground's coming a little bit quicker than I thought. It was, can you get to Earth? Those are my favorite. Dang it. I want, I want the Corvette. This, it'd be super cool to have Corvette. I want my own Corvette. But, uh, what was I saying before? Uh, something about... Something about something. Dang, I lost my train of thought. Well, I'll just go on to a different one. Um, so, speaking of, uh, sh like, pirate ships... They're my, my luckiest day. It didn't feel lucky at the time, but there was one time I was on the moon, I was mining, getting some good material, and a Corvette showed up behind me and blew up my ship. And so I was like almost completely stranded where I was. The Corvette wasn't going away. 
and I just got stuck in a cave for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes pass by and I hear this loud crunch. And I go outside and I realize the Corvette was waiting around for me for so long, it ran out of fuel and shut down. So I had a free Corvette just literally laying on the ground for me. Ooh, salvage station. But not the station I'm looking for. I need a trade station. So anyways, I'm, I'm, I started scrapping the first Corvette and then I hear a loud boom and I look, go third person, and I see that another Corvette showed up and started blowing up the other one because I was inside of it. And it was demolishing it. So I quickly dug out the bottom, dug into the ground and you know took cover that way. And then another three minutes go by. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, we're burning up a lot of hydrogen. Okay. Are we okay, I just refilled. Whew. So, so second Corvette comes in. It's It was beelining it for me in the Corvette, so it couldn't stop itself. It got caught in gravity, slammed head first into the first Corvette, and like broke it. So I was like, oh, cool. Now I have two Corvettes, because they took each other out. And then I'm waiting, waiting, I'm scrapping it. A third Corvette shows up, repeats the process. I'm like, okay, I can't be going on, like, it can't keep doing this, right? I'm thinking, okay, so it, it runs out of power again, and it falls to the ground. So, okay, that's it. They're clearly not going to send another Corvette or another ship, right? So I look up into the sky, and I see a destroyer-class ship beelining it towards my position to the point like it is not slowing down it is so on the on the moon i don't think you can use ion i think it's purely uh you need atmospheric or hydrogen to fly and the destroyer is purely meant for space so it looked saw where i was and full sent it oh i'm trying to go down that this destroyer crashed into the ground <laughs> And then after 10 minutes of waiting, it ran out of batteries. So I just went on, took it, and then, yeah, I had an entire fleet of ships suddenly. Okay, we're at half hydrogen. And then they changed spawn rates after that, so it doesn't, it doesn't happen as often, unfortunately. Yeah, by far one of my favorite me memories from this game. It just get kept. I just kept hitting ship after ship. My other favorite one was I I installed this mod. So a jump drive is kind of like a hyperdrive. Memories that last. Yep. So this hyperdrive or jump drive is what they're called. Um, you you have to charge them over time to make a jump. But people changed it. So that if you if your jump drive got shot when it was at full power, it would cause a massive explosion. And so I installed that and a few other mods that added more space pirates to deal with because I really like fighting space pirates. And so I'm at my base. I'm just starting out and I look to the right and I see the space, the space pirate base already sent a ship after me. And it kind of looks like a pelican from Halo. Except it has a jump drive in it, and I didn't know that. So it's flying up towards my base. It has tons of guns on it, and it's destroying my base. And I get into my turret. I turn, and I shoot a few rounds that go through the bottom, and all of a sudden, it explodes with the force of a nuke, just shattering the entire ship. It was amazing, but it made a massive mess. Like, usually when, during a space battle, like, small bits and pieces will fling off into space or something. But this thing literally ripped it apart block by block. So each block got thrown in a different direction. Super fun. Super cool. Unfortunately, that mod hasn't been updated in like years. Like I haven't seen it been used and I don't think it works anymore. Yeah, I, I love that thing. This is just, it had such a cool risk to using jump drives where you don't know if it's worth it or not to... Keep it charged. Another cool mod is the 
is the black hole mod. Because it creates... So you, if you saw when I got into the planet's gravity, how freaked out I got, that's because gravity is a very difficult thing to escape if you go past a certain point. And it depends on which planet where that point is. So the idea behind the black hole is that... Oh, how close are we? Okay, we're still good on hydrogen. The idea behind the black hole mod, besides, you know, obviously making a black hole, is that it essentially makes a thing that's gravity is so huge that if it grabs you at all, you are doomed. And it's not like a quick death. It is a slow buildup as it pulls you towards its core. And, like, the gravity there is so strong that even in creative mode, if I spawn anything, it immediately gets crushed. Like, it's just gone. And past a, and up to a certain point, your ship will actually start to burn because there's so much gravity and, like, f f the ship is shaking so much that it starts to take damage and it rips itself apart before it even reaches the, the surface of the black hole. Yeah, super cool. I did a playthrough where there was one in my world somewhere. So the danger was I wanted to do a challenge again. And so I made a black hole and I put it in a random spot where I couldn't see it. And I just had to play survival with the ever knowing fact that there was a black hole somewhere that could just destroy my ship and kill me. But that was when I was do not doing a hardcore run. So it didn't matter if I died or not. Okay, but we didn't see any stations. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a check real quick. Cause this might be This might be before I edited the worlds to be had to have economy. Advanced, let's see. Yeah, heck no, I'm not enabling that. People bounty contracts, permanent death. Oh, oops. Yeah, let's turn that on. Random encounters. Yep. Third person, unsupported station, spawn with tools, enable spiders, remote control, enable friendly missile damage. Enable spawn ship, auto respawn, aim assist. I'm not seeing economy. Auto healing, spectating, player names, slusher damage, weapons enabled, destructible blocks. Able to shake. And naval unsupport stations, drones, unknown signals, bounty contracts, economy. Okay, so it is on. I'm having no luck finding them. But we did enable the cargo. Which means we can potentially raid those. Oh, and random encounters are. Nice and dangerous because a they're random, so you you can either get a super easy um, thing. You're going to fly to the other side of Mars and then check around there. So let's make sure we're staying well above it. Check it, see if we can find them. Ow. Yeah, we're feeling pretty confident about this run, though. I mean, we got a lot of supplies. I, I've started making changes to my ship. We're not dead yet, so, you know, that's always a good start. We are starting to run a bit low. Let's see, remote batteries. Let's put you on recharge. And how much ice are we burning through? Let's see, oxygen. 
Uh, still at 100%. Oh, oops, uh, oops. <sighs> We've burned nine of it already, okay. Or maybe like 19. Hmm. Shoot! We're in, gra we're in gravity again. Okay, batteries, we're gonna need you. Discharge. Ooh, okay, we're in point 10. Not slowing down. Come on. I need that number to start increasing, not going down. Oh, oh, okay, it's going to back up. It's going back up. Okay, we should be good. I think we'll clear it. Yep, my height is... Why am I in combat phase? Like, what is causing that? Also, I'm not seeing any stations. Still. Da -da 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 -da. Super happy to be on the stream. Now I've discovered your stream. Hey, super happy for you to be here too. Ugh. It's always great having someone to chat to. Love it. Speaking of streams, are you planning to do a stream today? Okay, we're slowing down very slowly, but we are able to boost right back up to speed. We're going to put these bad boys back on recharge. And still in the planet's gravity. And readjust and push up a bit. I think they might have turned down station spawning. I hope I can stay alive so I can make these a little bit more interesting with the bigger builds. You know, actually be doing some space fights. Right now, it's just a game of run as soon as I see danger. Or, you know, die when I want to check something out. So I could watch Twitch streams 3rd since 4th. Twitch streaming every day. 6 to 12. Very impressive. 6 to 12 hours, right? Alright, well. Well. Ugh. I'll try to be there for it. <sighs> Big yawn. Oh, we've escaped planet's gravity. I'm starting to think that there is no... There are no stations near Mars. When we can do this to check. Entity list. That's a scary name. Projector pirates. Hmm. I'm not seeing any uh, economy there. So let's put the batteries back on the discharge. Either sleep, go hunt stream, streams or stream. 
Sounds like the ideal life. Okay, so... Hold on a second, let me check something. Because I've made this mistake before. Okay, space credits. But there is no... Can I make a GPS finder? Or something? E... GPS... No, it doesn't look like it. I forgot the code, like, way station, or... Essentially, they're all right. they are... Things you can find that give you exact coordinates of where a station is. Let's go on the other side, that way we're not getting close to Mars' surface. Run for a bit of journey again. But luckily the moon the Mars' moon is a lot smaller, so we don't have to worry too much about its gravity. Still a concern, but not as big as dealing with Mars's. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even. I'm tired, but I wasn't even up that late. Like I was, I was actually in bed earlier than I have been all week. Ooh, I just thought of a stream. Um. I want to play some Half-Life Alex again. I haven't done anything in VR in a while. Maybe do some VR Skyrim, all that good stuff. Yeah, happy happy to be paid today. That's so glad that my work payment came in. Just gotta go shopping for more tortillas so I can make more peanut butter and honey tortillas. Tortilla. I love a corn tortilla. Alright, well, this is gonna be mostly traveling right now. And I've hit my two hour uh two hour stream goal moment or timing. I think I'll call the stream here. So thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate everyone stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the attempt at accents. I was happy everyone was so into that and asking me to try different stuff. Super fun. Uh, but yeah, hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next stream. Take care. Bye bye. Au revoir. Go boppity some, go, go boop some boppities and all that good stuff. Go bruv, go bruv some people. Played Jump Simply in VR before, wanted VR and PC. Uh, got a console and said, because cheaper, but didn't sell. Uh, I buy a controller. All right, all right. See ya. Oh, no, you oh. Suck at trying There's to play me, but you never paid me. Never. Oh no, you didn't. Payback is a coming. You will be running forever. Oh no, you didn't. Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh no, you didn't. I'm a mercenary. You ain't got a prayer. You owe me. Oh.